Hello Matthias, I am Matthias. Come to the one of you before. Cool, this is going to react to you're trying Australian food. I am Australian. So you can see how you do even the foods. To react to this video, just put your like little face in the corner and just react to me trying these foods and maybe I'll do a video reacting to you, reacting to me. Maybe that's too meta, I don't know. But let's start. And remember to stay to the end because we saved the best for last. Also stay to the very end because I will announce a winner and a loser, my favorite and my least favorite. All right, let's begin. First up, Violet Crumble, okay? It's the way it shatters that matters. <laughs> I've never read that on a candy bar before. Delicious shattering chalk coated honeycomb. Honeycomb, interesting. I mean, this doesn't look like real honeycomb, so it can't possibly be real honeycomb or this thing would be like $80. Honeycomb is expensive. Oh, it's just one long duty. Duty, duty. Look at that. I've, usually candy bars this size are broken up into two pieces, you know? No, not Australia. Oh! No. Oh! Oh, whoa! Really nice. That is so unique. How in, oh! This is so good. <laughs> Remember, I'm gonna be giving everything a thumbs up or a thumbs down based on if I will go out again do and it. get it for myself off camera, all right? This already is a thumbs up. Okay, this honeycomb stuff, it's really, really hard, but it's like really crispy. Isn't it just like and it's like, like a really hard foam, kind of. Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I've had too much caffeine today. <laughs> Next up, apricot indulgence. This is my apricot oh my indulgence, goodness. okay? I will indulge on some this apricots. Really Made weird. with dried fruit, perfect between meal snack. Like sure, it's 28 really grams and six pieces. Whew. Since 1908, the Robin brand has been synonymous with Australian dried and glacé fruit. What the heck does that Glaze. mean? Ooh, like ah, cherries. Smell <laughs> so pungent. <laughs> so pungent. It looks like a dried apricot was just compressed hardcore and then sprinkled some little sugar on top. Mostly Traditional it. apricot delight. Okay, these are supposed to be delightful. We shall see for Maybe ourselves. Strong flavor. Wait a minute. You have to check it all in your mouth. Tastes just like a dried apricot with sugar on top. Apricot? Not near as strong as it smells. Apricot. The smell is 10 times strong as the taste. I'm not too much of a fan of dry fruit, so. Thumb, thumbs down, maybe? Soft eating licorice is up next. This one is mango flavored. What is soft eating licorice? No Those idea. are the least descriptive adjectives a brand could find. Soft eating, 100% Australian owned. Sugar, wheat glucose syrup, wheat flour, wheat fiber. What? Why so much wheat in this? Why do people love wheat so much? You're killing me. I've never Scissor time. that in shock. So the <laughs> Sorry, I made a mess. Oh, <gasps> this smells so good. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. This smells, oh, mate, you should try oh, a bar. they look like. Like a mango wheat bar. They smell like a mango. That's it. <laughs> they smell like a mango. Hold on. Uh, it smells like, a... it's so soft. Oh, it's really soft. Wait, licorice is meant to be soft. That was disappointing. Tastes like licorice. Slightly mango. Why does it smell so good? Okay, now I'm tasting it a little bit more. It's so soft. Now I know why they, I mean, there's no other word for soft eating, am I right? Arnott's Original. Tim -tams. And uh, these are, Actually, I guess, called Tim Tams or Tam Tims or Timmy Tim Tams? What? Tim Tams, got, Tim -tams got it right. Them. All right, so the irresistibly chocolatey happiness in a cookie. A okay, so it's just a cookie. That's that's it, it's just a cookie. Why do I smell it first? <laughs> it smells like a chocolate fudge. They're like separated perfectly so yeah. that none of them smudge into each other. You ever had like cookies when you like open the package and they're all just squished together and the manufacturer's like, what? That's how much you were gonna eat anyways. No bother trying to separate them. Tams are nice. If you don't love it, you fail. Meh. Tastes pretty generic. Oreos are better than this. That's a bold statement. <laughs> but I said it and I'm sticking with it. You know, it's not bad. Thumbs up, no. thumbs up. I'll finish them. So yeah, Probably tonight. The corners. Corners this off. one is men's uh, candy honeycomb. Yeah. Men's candy cheese. honeycomb. This specifically is for men. 
I'm super excited about this because I'm assuming that it's the same as the Violet Crumble. I mean, these Australians really like their honeycomb. Ooh, they're just all thrown in here. Yep. Oh no, they're stuck together, unlike Tim Tams. They're huge. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Oh. Mmm, that's even like more intense of a flavor. Gluten-free. <laughs> these are healthy for me. They're healthy for me. Don't, don't tell me don't otherwise. otherwise. I didn't even know something that good could exist. That's a thumbs up. The honeycomb. Uh, how have I never tried this? How have you never tried this? Next up, men's pineapple chores. Chocks. Chores? <laughs> pineapple jelly centers smothered in milk chocolate. Craving a tropical holiday but can't afford one right oh, now? Man. Dive into a pack of men's that? pineapple chocks and you'll get your delicious burst of tropical pineapple flavored jelly centers. I've been to Hawaii, tropical vacations. I'm hoping that this is just as good because then I don't have to pay to go to Hawaii. You're oh, what a weird to smell. To Smells like cleaning solutions. Pineapple and chocolate. I'm not sure if that mixes, but we'll see. Hopefully it'll take me to a tropical vacation. Oh, interesting. What happened? <laughs> that ain't no tropical vacation. It tasted like dollar store candy. What? Uh, next up, Anzac Wait. biscuit. Is this just like a tea biscuit? Am I supposed to have this with tea? Oh, here we go. I love all these foods from different countries. They always have like descriptions on the back of like what they are. About Anzac biscuits. Anzac biscuits are a traditional cookie in Australia and New Zealand made with oats, golden syrup, and coconut. These sweet and crunchy cookies are named after their Australian and New Zealand army. Yes, they are. That was unexpected. Anzac corpse. They sent them. Ooh, they smell kind of good. They're very, very hard. Yep, that's the point. See what I mean? Yep. Oh, I just made crummies everywhere. Very coconutty. I think you will like these. The point is that Here they're kind of getting mailed to war people. Oh man, that's so hard. So it's hard? And that's it. <laughs> it's hard, Soft it's a hard cookie. Nice. This would probably taste really good with tea or coffee. Yeah, coffee. This would go really good with coffee. I'm just gonna put that back in there. Also good Arnott's for throwing shortbread people cream. New look like pack coming soon. Oh, <laughs> this isn't even the new look. This is just them announcing that there's gonna be a new look. Shortbread cream. Well, not much to this. Just looks like a regular old cookie sandwich. A cookie sandwich? They're nice. Eh, for a cookie, that's kind of bland. If I'm gonna eat something sugary, I'm gonna want it to have like, at least the most amount of like taste there possibly can be, you know, so I get my money's worth, or my sugar's worth, because I can't eat that much sugar, she won't let me. Mm, thumbs down, me thinks. Mm -hmm. All right, yes. the moment that you've all been waiting for, Vegemite, yeast extract. Is that all this no, is? Like Yeast extract? Blend oh, I'm like so worried about this one. Like this one is evidently extremely polarizing. A lot of people hate it, a lot of people love it. This is leftover nice brewer's yeast extract. I got a spoon here. Amanda no. has prepared a spoon for me. You so I'm just gonna take a, a little bit off the top and see what it tastes it like. Post. This shouldn't have been the last you one. You get superpowers. You'll turn into the eh. People put that in their Let's mouth? How do I eat it? Is, I'm supposed to eat it no. like this. People don't just eat it like this. I bet no. people eat it like this, you sickos. No it looks it like, like chocolate. That. Oh my gosh. You guys are all gonna call me a huge wimp because of like how little no, I'm that's enough to cover This is a lot for me, guys. Here goes nothing. Oh, I hate this part. It's a bit bitter. Oh, oh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Was that some kind of joke? Some kind of sick joke? People don't eat that. Eat that it tasted like I licked the bathroom floor. My bathroom's clean. I'm saying public bathroom. I'm sorry yeah, if that like offends you. Bathroom. It was just so incredibly shocking. I probably shouldn't have been eating it that way. That's probably not the way to eat it. I get that. But oh my gosh, how salty was that? So go. the winner of today's episode is Violet Crumble. Just so good, just oh my gosh, yeah. so good. And the loser, obviously, I think you can guess it, Vegemite. No, that was a sick joke, guys. What? Why? 
Why'd you do that to me? Like, Let me know down in the comments whatever, below, really. what is the weirdest food that you have ever tried? And if you happen to be Australian, I would love for you to react to this video of me trying Australian foods. Honestly, just for my entertainment, I really got a kick out of it. Also check out me trying British foods and Filipino foods. Until next time, high five. Cool. You should try a Tim Tam Slammer, they're good. Also, lamingtons and pavlova. Also, typical Australian foods. Mmm, cool. Sounds nice. Thank you.